Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about a potential matchup between Jorge Gamebred Masvidal versus Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare Usman. With Masvidal's sensational win at UFC 239 over Ben Askren, there's a high possibility that Masvidal might fight for the belt against Usman. There are other factors at play, however. Kobe Covington's fighting Robbie Lawler. We have to see what the result is of that. So the 170 pound division is pretty interesting right now. But if Masvidal did fight Usman, how would that fight possibly play out? Let's get into that right now. Kamara Usman is currently the UFC 170 pound champ. He's been on an absolute tear, his record being 15 and one. His last three opponents, were Tyron Woodley, Rafael Dos Anjos, and Damian Maya. Some pretty big name fighters, high caliber, two champs in Woodley and RDA. Usman is very impressive. His striking has come along quite nicely. He has top notch wrestling, freak athlete. He's big for the division. He is indeed a nightmare matchup for many at 170. And that's why he's the champ. In Jorge Masvidal's last five fights, he's won three. All five of those fights have been named very tough fighters, some elite. To name off a few, Ben Askren, his last win, which was a record five second knockout. He defeated Darren Till by knockout, lost to Steven Wonderboy Thompson, lost to Damian Maya, and before that, TKO Donald Cerrone. Masvidal's record overall, he's fought former champs, contenders, top tens, and name fighters. Basically a who's who throughout his career. Super experienced vet. He's extremely well-rounded. He has wrestling in his game, top-notch crafty striking, great boxing. He's got a ground game. He has submissions, good submission defense. He's one damn tough customer, as tough as they come in MMA. Masvidal is 100% the dark horse in the division. Any given Sunday fighter, he literally can beat anybody on any given night. With all that being said, I do think that Kamara Usman is a tough fight for him. And I know what you're thinking, Masvidal dispatched Ben Askren in five seconds, but Kamara Usman is not Ben Askren. Usman is way more athletic, I would bet stronger. His wrestling is just as good, if not better if you add the athleticism. His striking is infinitely better than Askren's, and I could definitely see Usman being good enough on the feet to be not such an easy target standing for Masvidal, then eventually securing a takedown, whether it's a clinch or shooting in on him, and controlling Jorge on the ground. It may not be that easy because Jorge does have good defensive wrestling, and his striking is always a big threat when you're coming in. Jorge's also very crafty on the ground. Like I said, he does have a submission game. He's a very good grappler. But yeah, I definitely see Usman controlling the fight on the ground, maintaining top position, scoring with ground and pound, wash, rinse, repeat, and possibly winning via decision. I don't think Usman would finish Masvidal. Can Jorge win this fight? Absolutely. He would have to use great footwork. His defensive wrestling would have to be on point and he would have to make Usman pay every time he comes in for a takedown. Also, avoid the clinch. If he can, get back up on his feet if Usman takes him down, but that's a tall task because Usman is super strong. And on top of that, he has very high wrestling. I'm not trying to underestimate Masvidal. I actually picked him to beat Askren, but I think if Masvidal fought Usman, I would definitely favor Usman and say he takes that fight seven times out of 10 via ground control and win via decision. Jorge does have it in him to win via submission, catching Usman in something, or more likely a TKO KO from strikes. But Usman's a very smart fighter, his striking has really improved, and I kind of don't see him getting finished by Masvidal. I think size and strength would play a huge factor if these guys were to fight. Again, not underestimating Jorge, he can win this fight. That guy's a threat to anybody at 170 pounds and can finish anybody in the division. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about this potential fight. Who do you think would win and why? Drop those opinions in the comment section. We'd we'll love to read them. Thanks for the support, the likes, the shares, the subs. Appreciate it greatly and I'll catch you guys on the next segment.